I will be discussing on practice standard for scheduling considering key focus on PMI SP certification. Practice standards for scheduling is a key subject of today's overall project scheduling session. Content coverage. As a part of today's session, I'll be covering the following areas. Introduction to practice standards for scheduling. Overview of schedule model. Schedule development process, schedule model, good practices overview, and finally, some hands on practice on the best industry processes that is followed for any schedule creation. So, first, let's understand the subject by itself. Practice standard of scheduling, what does it mean? The practice standard for scheduling has been developed as a complement to a guide to the project management body of knowledge in the knowledge area of project time management. This practice standard describes the methods related to scheduling that are generally recognized as good practice for most projects most of the time. Good practice means that there is a general agreement that the correct application of the skills, tools and technique can enhance the chances of success over a wide range of different projects. The practice standard is designed to provide project management practitioners who are familiar with the PMI PMBOK guide with summary of benefits and advantages of a well-developed and maintained schedule model. This practice standard describes the hallmark of a sound and effective project scheduling methodology as well as providing quantifiable means for accessing the application of the provisions of the standards to a schedule model. One of the most significant development in the creation of this practice standard is centered upon the clarification of the term schedule. So let's understand by each of this terminology what, of, what does it mean, its purpose, the benefits of it. The PMI looks at scheduling at a different perspective. The meaning of scheduling focuses on three main areas. What, when, who, what will be done, when will it be done, who will be working on it. The practice standards for scheduling defines the meaning of schedule as two different terms and distinct, and distinct terms, project schedule and the newly added schedule model. The term scheduling method and tool were introduced to link the process areas in the PMBOK guide with high level process flow of schedule development. So when we look at scheduling and having considered that we have looked upon all the three W's that is what, when and who, we expect the project schedule to be organized and worked upon in a very professional way because when we look at projects we find that they are generally complex endeavors and a plan is essential to guide the execution of the project. As, pro as the project progresses and it is recorded, the remaining work reassessment is brought into light and it gives a new information. Rarely does the execution of the project proceed as initially planned. Making scheduling is a very important subject to focus on. The purpose of scheduling is to provide a roadmap that represents how and when the project will deliver the product defined in the project scope and by the project team. The key to project success is to apply knowledge, experience and intuition to a project plan and then attempt to execute according to the plan. Scheduling is one of the basic requirements of project management planning and strategic analysis. Its main objective is to establish the time required for a project. This supports the project in arranging funds on required dates, the mobilization of resources in a most cost efficient and cost saving manner. It also supports in establishing coordination within the projects and with other projects also in early detection of problems so that the required actions can be implemented as necessary to achieve the project strategic goals as planned. 
Also, from a contrary point of view, schedule is an important document used to record all delays and to analyze extensions of time and financial loss claims. Another objective can be looked upon as a tool for what-if analysis. From a benefits perspective, you can look at scheduling as a most precise resource allocation method wherein for each activity you define exactly how many number of resources are needed, the skill set and what is the duration. It is also can be looked upon as a resource and cost perspective. So if you plan to put a resource having an X cost, you'll be able to quantify what is the actual cost of the overall project for a, part for a particular sales kit of a resource. Better risk identification in terms of understanding what is the current and what are the foreseen risks. If there is any risk that is foreseen and it is identified, accordingly a risk action plan and a mitigation plan can be taken upon. For risk identification, this can become an input to the risk register wherein you define exactly what is the priority of the risk, how much risk can be handled at the current moment and at a later per se and which is on the critical path also. It All this factors in an easy management of project execution. If you look at a very large complex projects, you know what are the type of risk, what is the resource needed and managing the whole thing from an end-to-end -end perspective. Efficient team involvement and higher motivational grade. So if there is any activities that has been planned, you know what are the skills needed and how long is the duration of this project for that particular resource member. So normally what we have seen is if the project is going for a very long time, it needs resources who needs to be continuously motivated because the resource gets demotivated for certain long periods and it needs involvement at a higher management level to give them the needed push and to make the project successful. A good deviation monitoring as well wherein you'll be able to check what is the baseline of any project plan and you'll be able to compare it with the actual project plan by itself. So at any point of time there is any deviation you can look at whether there is an over allocation of resource, there is an over budget that it is going on, if it is going beyond the cost and risk detection, it is interlinked with risk identification as well, efficient time management related to risk management and all this is nothing but going to give an end result which is going to have the project as a successful. So when you look at a project schedule perspective, although it is one of the component, key component of a project's success, but it cannot be definitely looked in silos. So project resource planning, risk planning, time management, scope management and scheduling are all interlinked to reach at an end perspective of making the project successful. The practice standards for scheduling also answers questions to who will be involved, what approach will we take to plan the schedule for the project, what process and procedures will be used to create, you, to create the schedule and also we have to look into external enterprise factors. Is there any work authorization required for the system in place? Does the organization have a preferred project management software to make scheduling? If not, Will the work for the project include create a work authorization system or select a scheduling software product? This process should answer the questions. How will I effectively manage and control the project to the schedule baseline and manage schedule variance?